Hi there, uh, in this video of the Floss Marketing School, we are going to talk about uh, App Inventor. So in fact, App Inventor is a project which, uh, start, which was created by Google and then uh, which have been dropped out uh, by Google and given to the MIT. Um, it's a great platform, in fact. Uh, so it's a technology that uh, is available in the cloud of the MIT, but as well that you can uh, directly download through GitHub and install on your own server. Once uh, you do so, then uh, you get access to the App Inventor 2 platform, which uh, looks like this. So it's, it's really fun, actually. You can really create a lot of uh, projects just to give you an idea. Uh, this is the number of projects I started to create back in 2014. So as you can see, it's many, many different uh, app and it has its own ecosystem so you can even publish your app not uh, directly on the play store but within the gallery and see other people downloading your app and see if they like it or not and then you can even uh, create apps from uh, app inventor too and then publish them on the on the play store so okay what is it saying here that there is an error something like this oops okay anyway i'm gonna go back on the gallery and show you that it works continue gallery and uh, click on popular and you see the different uh, different app which have been created that you can directly open and uh, you can see what's inside the app how it has been coded and then you can inspire yourself from it uh, and so on and so forth so it's, it, i think it's really cool if you would like to start uh studying and the exist blah blah, blah. okay so okay so and my project and probably get it something error. okay so typically this app i already um, downloaded it so i can already see everything which is which is within it including the code okay uh, so let's start with an empty project so we're just going to call it a plus okay just like this so when you create a project it's like creating an app what is great with App Inventor 2 is that um, it's very straightforward. Uh, you don't need to code. Uh, as you can see, this is um, the design part. So this is where you decide how your app uh, will look like. And you can choose here on the left the different component that you want to add to uh, the UI, including uh, components which are dealing with, um, let's say, connections, sensors, and stuff like this. So let's imagine, for example, that you would like to add like a barcode scanner, that you would like to add a light sensor, that you would like to add um, any things out of those, you can definitely add them to uh, App Inventor to and start to play with it. So just to give you uh, one tiny idea, oops, if I would like to get an app which is giving me uh, how much uh, light there is in this, in this room, in a given room. So what I can do is I can just say, okay, uh, here is the, um, so a title I'm going to call light level level and um, then what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to put some information over here label uh, which will represent this information the light of a given room so I'm just going to um, have it empty yep, like this and then after that all I need to have is a sensor which is going to be a light sensor like this so it is non-visible component because uh, you cannot see it it doesn't look like anything uh, in terms of design but it's included within the app now so now i have a light sensor and i have um, two other components which one is a title and another one is an empty value that i need to fill in with um, with a light sensor okay next uh, what i expect my app to do is when it's loaded it grabs automatically the uh, like level so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on blocks on blocks this is where you define what is the behavior that you expect your app to have and in my case what i expect to have is when the screen is open it grabs the light and showing it up in, in label two so it's uh, like this it's when the screen initializes so when the app starts for the first time what it's going to do is that it's going to grab uh, the value of uh, the light so in my case i can Take this one, yep, and gonna take the value. So let's say label text to depth like this. Okay, I'm gonna take the looks. Okay, looks. In fact, I can remove this one. In fact, I don't need it. So 
In fact, here what's going to happen is if there's a change in terms of light, it's going to show up um, within the text uh, label do variable which represent the value which is extracted from uh, the light sensor. And here my app is finished. So all I, all I need now is uh, to be able to uh, see how the app look like. And for this, I have uh, different uh, possibilities. So I can um, I can create a QR code. I can uh, create an APK file that I will save afterward on my um, on my computer and then transfer it to my to my smartphone. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna uh, flash the QR code, which is gonna appear and it's gonna install it within my uh, Android smartphone. And I will, of course, as a result, show you that it works. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm just waiting for uh, the QR code to be displayed. What I'm showing you is not the fastest way to go. Uh, you can definitely do it uh, in several other ways. And those other ways are um, the following one. You can connect it. Oops. You can connect it uh, through the AI companion. So in fact, as a result, it will connect in Wi-Fi the result of your app directly within your uh, smartphone and you can do it as well with an emulator i'm not 100 percent sure that mine is connected um, okay so i don't have yet the app on my on my computer and you can as well uh, put it as a as a usb okay so um, i just installed the app on my on my smartphone so i'm gonna switch now to screen so uh, here's what it looks like so I make the installation and then if I click on uh, open here you will see that I get my app with the light level so it's kind of interesting as you can see the more light there is then the more the value is uh, is changing and that's everything that I wanted to show you about App Inventor 2 so the only thing that you have uh, to remember about it, that's uh, a CMS platform in order to build Android app without knowing how to code. Uh, you have a design part where you um, put your components on, and then you have a block part in which you are defining the behavior that you expect those components to have in order afterward to build an Android app that you can install directly on your smartphone. And uh, unfortunately, of, and of course, um, as it is for Android app, it doesn't work for iOS app. And that's it now for today. So hope it helps you understand a little bit more what is App Inventor 2 and hope you will have the possibility to play a little bit with this platform. Thanks for watching.